According to the Wildlife Trusts, there are two and a half million non-native, destructive grey squirrels in the UK. That is quite a mountain to climb. But they say every journey begins with a single step, and this morning Roy and Charlie are determined to put their best feet forward. And this is, this is always good fun, especially this time of year. Now the leaves have finally dropped off the trees and they're becoming a little bit more visible. We've got a lot of squirrels in this area, in the, the woods behind us. One going through there now. <laughs> Stop! They've certainly come prepared. Back in 2014, we filmed with the Penrith and District Red Squirrel Group and saw how useful thermal was at stopping the greys advancing. Today, Charlie is spotting with a Pulsar Accolade and Roy is shooting with a Pulsar Trail Scope. What calibre is it? This is just a 2 2. I would quite like to have a go with the two fives. I've not shot the two fives yet, but this has just been absolutely beautiful. It is a perfect, perfect little air rifle for this sort of game. I imagine that's a little bit more expensive than it was when you were 12. Actually, yeah, when I, was, when I was a small boy running around with scopes, then we really did have smarty tubes. I remember going, <laughs> I, I really did, I remember going and buying my first telescopic sight, you're saying 12, and I think it was about 10 or 11 pounds for my first little sight that went on my air rifle, so yeah, no, they were a damn sight cheaper then. But uh, yeah, no, things have, things have come on and toys have got better. Our first squirrel is too fast for all of us and heads into a dray. Roy decides to knock on the door with a 2-2 pellet. The other day I had a squirrel come running up to me when I was stalking and was just asking me to leave. He was um, getting quite irate with me and, and literally came within yards. How they can tell the difference when, um, when it's their turn, I have no idea, but he's just gone up into that dray there, so we're just going to put a shot into the dray and just see if he comes out. As I say, we. He went in there, so we might just be able to get him out. It's not an overly big dry, so we'll have a look and see. There he comes. Do you want him? Just the right. Thankfully, the you thermals have it, as David loses it in the camera. There he is. So what power did you use on that? Uh, that was at 12 foot-pounds. And your aim was, did you? The aim was spot on. I mean, he was, he was just straight up in there, so. So you didn't put it any higher or lower or? No, I mean, uh, uh, no, the trouble is you've got so many different things going on because this is the, the scope is quite high in comparison to the barrel. So you've got quite a gap there. So it's actually shooting a little bit low for the first 15, 20 yards. And then it's coming up into the, into the, um, the line of the scope. So allowing for the, the elevation and the angle you're shooting at, then it's quite difficult to um, to figure it out and say with that I just put it straight on it. <laughs> so it, if if that was if it was on the level, I would have been aiming high on it. Um, but shooting up, then I aim straight at it. I believe you. <laughs> it died. I got it. You didn't. <laughs> the gardens are proving tricky with dense foliage, so we head to the woods. There are squirrels everywhere. Yeah, so we've got at least three squirrels down here. So we're just going to try and get a little bit closer because at the moment, I'll just range it. At the moment, they are about 70 metres away. So we'll just go in a little bit more. That's one of the downfalls with the thermal in this sort of environment. I think on that squirrel, I think the pellet must have just clipped one of the branches um, or one of the little twigs and it just diverted it a little bit so we didn't get that one. But he went running off. But a lot of the time what the squirrels will do is they'll always try and stand the opposite side of the tree to you. So they'll, they'll spin round. So it's always good if you've got a couple of you. And then one person can just walk round the back of the tree and just push them round because they'll just hug the the bow or the trunk and just move around. It's another good shot and Roy explains just why these incredibly successful mammals need to be hit hard. I think the thing to remember 
with squirrels is just how devastating they are. You look at all of the holes in these trees that birds would nest in, so you get, um, you could possibly get owls nesting there, you could possibly get woodpeckers nesting in there, but every single one of these holes will be um, used by squirrels and the squirrels will check it out. Every single piece of this woodland will be checked out by squirrels. So the, the chances of, of our bird life actually managing to bring successful clutches off is drastically reduced. Um, you couple that with the, the, the massive increase that we're seeing in magpies and the massive increase we're seeing in crows. Um, and a lot of people claim that magpies don't predate on, on, on birds and don't predate on nests. They are horrendous for it. The, the amount of damage they do and the amount of, uh, of nests that they do actually account for is innumerable. Okay, perfect. That's another one. Now, as well as beautiful kit, Roy is beautifully kitted out and he has asked us to say thank you to Shooter King who, as a special, never-to-be-repeated favour, tailored some trousers for his unique figure in the Vanatu hunting range. The thermals certainly help with the hunting. They also reveal a truly worrying number of squirrels in this small area. Go on, guess the number you've seen this morning. I hate to think how many we've seen. We must have seen 70 or 80 squirrels easily running around. I mean, there are these woods are absolutely packed with them, so before um, before the leaf comes back on the trees and before everything starts nesting, we're obviously going to have to come back in here and have a, a real sort of sort out with them. Um, because again, otherwise, yeah, this all of the, the nesting habitats in here, and there are some beautiful nesting habitats in here, will just be completely wiped out by squirrels, uh, let alone everything else. After a couple of hours, we call it a day, but there's clearly a lot more to be done. Let's head home. We often talk about shooting and conservation in the same conversation. Well. There's no better use of your skills and your air rifle than heading off to your woodland and restoring some balance.